Planning, rising federal government should substantially increase prohibitions on any competitive business practice by the sector by at least expanding the scope of its core antitrust laws to remove the Section 568 exemption from the Higher Education Act and subject private institution of education to the essential facilities doctrine, the advantage monopolization of education system from a racially segregated priority system that spills over to other aspects of society, structurally locks in intergenerational wealth, spirits, health crises, and lockout of academia that's in 21 social closure, racial segregation, and inequality in higher education, state sanctioned policies, facility exclusion of non waste non waste for higher quality schools, which enables white students to monopolize differentiation when school quality is capitalized in the housing crisis. Such that there are barriers to access to scarcity is socially constructed due to geographically based policies which have exclusionary effects. Say reification of exclusionary policies creates scarcity is impossible for it is possible for states to make different choices. Doing so would eliminate the prestige factor that led to scarcity. Explicit race based race based monopolization of schools was never fully eradicated. School district boundary line and construction quality of schools, predominantly white districts and racially diverse areas, are monopolizing schools to raise neutral forms of second order second order social closure. That the skewed distribution of teachers in it is an issue primarily of race, not poverty level. Predominantly white school districts receive to 23 billion more, despite the same number of students effectively subjugates minorities. Students, it results in white hoarding opportunities. At least colleges uh, associated with for well being denied students, uh, denied to students of color. Public policy necessitates the regulating of white student segregation, and it enables the rise of authoritarianism and the plan shift to education. The public infrastructure solves and is a crucial instance of refusal of neoliberal co optation of education. That's your own 21. Higher education isn't subject to devastating attacks to both privatize and defund public education. The corporatization of higher education have led to the abandonment of egalitarian and democratic principles. Students are regulated to clients of uh, post secondary education and most silent regarding the threat to democracy posed by the growing racism and authoritarianism. Agencies reconfigured in the image of a market driven model. That concealed its own aggression in the name of mediocrity, the higher education failure to define itself as a public good or everywhere. Education is rarely understood as a crucial site of struggle resistance that's been too bitter. Repressive forms of education infused with neoliberal racist, racist orthodoxy per, uh, and then permeates a range of corporate control sites. White nationalist educational practices operate increasingly in state repression. Universities increasingly define themselves as a business culture, home or not. Authoritarianism it, uh, is clear in the barrage of voters' depression at, at higher education to become a site of derision that calls uh, to, market, uh, to democratize the university, open it up, or consider it as dangerous language necessary for higher education or redefine its mission. Uh, uh, work towards a different future. Students are uh, inundated with the competitive privatized market driven values and neoliberalism. Higher education has a crucial role to play as a democratic public good rather than neoliberal capitalism resistance begins with the refusal to accept ed ed education that only values a uh, profit that speaks, uh, that speaks out against the idolatry of data and ignoring how dark shadow of fascist policies engulfing the globe and authoritarian leaders appear to be targeting minority communities that magnify structural violence that's waxing and 20 Putin and Orban work within the system of democracy but retool them in the undemocratic way. Strong people are, subject, are a subset of authoritarian who have been democracy around their own needs. Mussolini degraded democracy in ways that are familiar to today. We're seeing new authoritarian. The, uh, who these states come to power violations, they, they use legal loopholes, weaknesses in the regulatory system and the legal system to consolidate their power. If someone talks about how violent they are in a positive way, we can be sure that they are not going to be respecting the democratic system. The impulse that leads uh, that leads people who are fearing change to seek to uh, solace with, uh, with a ruler who tells them what to do, who says, I am your voice is not new. The impact is genocide. They, this is the culminating, culminating manifestation of authoritarian fascist policies moving in 18 history. Does repeat itself. Genocide are not spontaneous. A form of government is the key data point. And uh, their computer model, the prevailing view about why mass atrocities occur, is that they tend to be decisions by political elites when they uh, feel under threat and, and in a condition of instability. There's a lot of analysis that suggests these middle regime types are less stable than full democracies or full autocracy. They tend to notice that there is a risk of genocide too late. There's not, a, um, not enough to know that you have an authoritarian regime. It is important to know what that authoritarian regime is doing. The U.S. currently takes off many of the early stages of a country headed for bloodbath and uh, structural barriers in education spill over to all, uh, to all aspects of society. Worsens disparity in economic and health conditions and exacerbates disparities in policing that stretch well at all in 20 to racial segregation that perpetuates a separate and unequal exacerbating the persistent financial inequalities and lower Resource allocation is a disproportionate display. Experienced by black students four times as likely to receive an out of school suspension, higher percentage of students who are physically restrained and referred to law enforcement. These may explain the disparities in graduation and inequities in policing and sentencing disparities and sentencing contributes to the economic consequences and wealth gap and inequalities in income and unemployment. And the 568 exemption hurts higher education throughout the U.S. The act is a fundamental shift in how we see colleges in American society. The plan responds to the neoliberalization of the contemporary university and uses antitrust to curb the harms of the university policies of the most uh, to the atmosphere of students. That's cool. in 22 universities will allegations that they have illegally colluded a university's freedom of action exemption was extended and brought in, in sections 568. The, their children of extremely wealthy families have gotten, a, 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 have gotten an edge. Members argue a, a coordination allows them to give more aid. Low income students receive only about 22% of the money schools save. But elite colleges and universities have a hard time now arguing for special treatment. They are richer. Their tuition student prices have skyrocketed and they are increasingly mistrusted. And current lawsuits will be able to 568 exemption is key. The third in 22 Congress has given them an exemption under section 568 so that they can do exactly that. Judges are supposed to interpret the will of Congress. The policy of favoring donors' kids has been widely known for a long time. The plaintiffs were how we fell wash. Fall well short of that goal. And 568 exemption allows colleges to functionally keep students of color and poor students out of college. And any exemption of subjects into competition that makes it cheaper for black, Latinx, poor, and middle class students to attend college as light and least hot in the 21 Congress allowed colleges to serve many extra slots by agreeing to limit the amount of aid that the deserving students can receive. The five, uh, section five, uh, 568 makes it harder for students of color to attend nations most prestigious, uh, prestigious university schools have been able, uh, able since 1994 to agree to decline an 
offer me rewards of any type, academic excellence, debate skills, and give scholarships to be solely on the student's financial situation. The Ivies could dig into in their hills. A better path would be to embrace competition and enable students from low-income families to attend schools at lower or no cost. Once the Ivies start competing, that would stimulate other private and public schools to enhance their packages. Those student schools would then compete over, over the students that they are most seeking by offering room and board, which is not covered by the administration's tuition proposal. Two famous studies conducted by the Kruger, the Wright Kruger, and Princeton said that mathematics and private schools are overrated, but that is not true. The authors found that black and Latinx students and those from low-income families whose parents did not attend college, any claim that Section 568 antitrust exemption is needed is not borne out of the available evidence. Students who would benefit from competition among Ivies and other big name universities. It would defy logic and fairness for Congress again to renew Section 568 and allow colleges to include and access to post-secondary education is key to solve a wide range of social issues, solves wider inequalities, Tatum 17. Three legitimate concerns about colleges are widespread. Those, uh, those who compete for their degrees are less likely to experience unemployment. Old patterns of segregation persist more segregated today than 1980. Separate uh, remains unequal. Schools with concentrated poverty and racial segregation have inadequate facilities and resources. The, leg the legacy MP accumulation of equity and transmission of wealth. Higher education offers an opportunity to interrupt this. Depend on larger part of institution providing formative experiences of dialogue. Students demonstrate increased self-awareness about the power and privilege, but it can't happen unless the student body reflects that diversity and subjecting private institutions to essential facilities. Also, and antitrust is the best way to analyze second order social closure that enables racially discriminatory practices and overcomes problems with public law frameworks. That's Wilson in 21. Public law frameworks do not reach outcomes that are caused by uh, private decision making. Uh, Antitrust Sherman Act does not require 10 requirements. It prohibits conduct that really reasonably restrains trade or main, maintenance of monopoly power. Racial segregation is water mine democracy by allowing the population to hoard educational opportunities and ability to participate equally. Antitrust doctrine provides an apt analytical and critically analyzed monopolization by white, uh, by white student racial segregation. The doctrine surrounding the denial of essential facilities both analogous and intent of monopolies to be inferred from these methods utilized every circuit. The Court of Appeals, however, recognizes the essential facilities auction as a basis for imposing liability under the Sherman Act. The error is an appropriate place for the essential facilities auction and regulating infrastructure. High quality uh, public schools are a form of infrastructure. Open access is desirable to create positive externalities that benefit society. High quality public schools will meet the criteria. Schools will be non rivalist and shareable. If a state puts rules that facilitate open access, intermediate, uh, intermediate goods can be produced. High is high quality education outcomes. Students who attend high quality schools have better life outcomes, higher ed incomes, and a reduced likelihood of encountering the criminal justice system. Non discriminatory access to high, high quality schools is optimal because high quality schools generate a hard to measure spillovers and next uh, is solvency. The plan solves structural incentives to include and deny crucial financial aid. The Fitzgerald 216 and an amended complaint charges that all 17 schools are a factor of family finances and the examination of ability to pay during admissions. The school might claim Congress did not intend to withhold the exemption from any school that collaborated. The defendants easily have the financial means to provide more generous financial aid awards for low and middle income families struggling to afford the cost of a university education if the defendants were not colluding and the speech act of the money see is good even if the plan isn't perfect or never happens. It builds necessary blueprints for individual level challenges and worse simple dominant linguistic narratives as well. Said in 21, few students of color do gain access. High quality schools are located in predominantly white affluent areas. The analogy is useful for critiquing existing structures of dominant political uh, public education paradigm is flawed in many ways. While there is still an impediment to overcome racially integrated schools have the ability to provide educational outcomes in terms of eliminating racial achievement gaps and broadening access to essential facilities for can advance opportunities for students of color right simultaneously acknowledging flaws and continuing to work to address those flaws. Some might suggest that framework offers little utility beyond a thought exercise. It might be offered a blueprint for challenges on a right to education. Uh, clauses offered only in Political lens to argue that uh, state education causes preclude monopolization and offers a tool that can be used to push courts to engage in the equal protection clause, which are shielded from judicial scrutiny by the intent based regime. The final critique might be that it adopts market based language, yet uh, adopting market based language in, in, in this context is solely for the purpose of considering how legal frameworks might do a better job disseminating public education as if it were a public good. It is imperative that employee new frameworks to access the problem of racial segregation. Current structures facility with a clear market failure, and there's momentum building now, but removing 568 protection is key to an institutional collusion. That's Popham 11060 major private university are facing a class action antitrust lawsuit alleging that they illegally included the exemptions outlined in section 568 allows university to coordinate with one another defense in favor of the wealthy applicants and admission process over a result of this ineffective price fixing scheme that the 568 cartel is explicitly aimed to reduce or eliminate pricing competition among its members the net price of attendance has been artificially inflated as narrow narrow critical pathway to upward mobility put an end to the 568 exemption collusion okay. uh, can you all mute to yeah okay and then we'll unmute and then um, Okay, uh, you're, so y'all are unmuted? Both of us unmute, and if we're both muted, then the judges online can hear us, and it doesn't. Yeah, create. but y'all are unmuted? Yes. And I muted. Okay, great. Okay, sure. Um, so question, does the antitrust exam, or I suppose, does the app, like, antitrust a university like University of Michigan? Um, the plan text affects private institutions of education. Private Section institutions. Okay, cool. Uh, obviously, public institutions, institutions exist do similar price fixing, do similar like massive institutional like funding. How does the app solve any of that stuff? Sure. Uh, 
In terms of private versus public or topicality, the plain text only affects private. But yeah, the solution question is from the least on evidence that says that Section 568 exemptions would lead to public universities becoming more wait, competitive. Wait, okay, wait, that makes no sense. How? Like, how does the exemption also affect public institutions? I don't give a shit about topicality. I care about solving the app. Yeah, I was, also I, I was literally answering your question. The card says that once, quote, once Ivy start competing, that would stimulate other pro private and public schools that already provide merit like, why? types to answer But like, why? Like, why? Like, why? Because they, the schools would compete for the students by offering more competitive packages. They compete for students and offer more competitive packages. Like, like when has this ever been an instance of it occurred? Like, why do like institutions care about what student body they get? Why do not just have the same like marketing incentives and make money? What do you mean? That begs the question of the exemption, which has been in place for decades. Okay, no, no, it doesn't. It begs the question of the intentions of the university okay. itself. No, because like, what about have... the what about the app changes the mindset of these like universities themselves? They are not allowed to price collude, which says it it that yes, sure. leads them Maybe to change their incentives of how they do admissions. Okay, sure. Change in sample. Really? Like, really? That, that is what our evidence says. It's yeah, but like, sure. Like, okay, sure. Uh, educational barriers that exist uh, in the case of, like, lower education or, like, K-12, does the app do anything to affect them? Same thing as spillover. The plan text only affects private. So, how, yeah, but, like, how does the spillover claim happen in the, that case? What do you mean? Like, down, down to... Like, like how access to, like, lower education or K-12 schools, how does the spillover claim happen in that case? Uh, the way that private, in, like, private schools in lower education has been constructed means that private schools are able to do things like collude and siphon money away from public schools and how they function, the plan... Wait, how do they siphon money from, like, property tax and shit? Like, what? There have been, like, tons of instances of private institutions one? getting, like, more money... Can you name me one? If, like... Like, what do you mean? You want me to make yes, like a give, school? Give, yeah, sure. I don't know any like well, the there's name like, of a specific Can you give me like a debate school or anything? Like, a debate? You said there's been tons of instances where you cannot name me one? Like, there are like, this is how like private schools function. They exist to like siphon away money from like okay, public sure. schools. Uh, next question about the bottom card about momentum for how things happening now. Is the momentum just like people want education reform, but this exemption prevents that, or is it something else? This card is about the class action lawsuit against the Ivy Leagues that price colluded in admissions. It says that so people this, are wanting this, to put an end to the exemption, but that the, the class action lawsuit will not be able to. Yeah, that kind of seems like a question of like lobbying. Does the app change in, uh, yeah, This card has nothing to do with lobbying. Well, the reason they're successful is because of lobbying. Um, sending out the points. Okay, it should be sent. For the curious among you, it will be too often a case. Everybody hear me like well. Um, we're using a different computer today. I just want to make sure the microphones are still like working and sounds so good. Okay, cool. Um, are all everyone in the room good to go? Is everyone online good to go? Got Lincoln. Welcome to the church. All are open to confess their sins and atone for their white guilt. The anti-black sins of the past continue to plague our dark futures in the hellhole that is the project of the American dream. The one he sees expansion of the U.S. antitrust laws on neutral never but the saints of valorization of the American dream. The U.S. is the promised land for God's people, chosen people as they in 15. Black still signifies the evidence of confession of all black bodies. I'm going to solve our suffering in the circumstances of the humanity by the insidious white manifestation of God. God intended black people to be slaves since man's origins. God told us we can do is keep near the slave state of bondage bodies and are the ways in which we constitute knowledge that black bodies only matter if black bodies bind a reverse extraction of the black body by the white gaze of the black bodies. Who sought to use death as a pseudo crucifixion as part martyr to extract the bodies indicative of specific ideological ideologies in the dying world? Dissociating oneself from from flesh only through abstraction of black bodies that value oneself that fall into the pattern of the dead as angels in order to maintain an ontological integrity. We cannot raise painting as angel angel that holds up to reverse. 
Church Black Bodies, but holy men and divinity be the women of the women's living in the ultimate heaven and all that their witness, what must occur the rebound of the action and witness use of all that heavenly theology must hold the body accountable white is black and feminist and A's A's atheist is to reveal the implication of consequences of the basic thing God does not have value in body wise the black people they only become that divine value through that last one who does not make us larger free more loving and time to God we got rid of them so what would mean to a white God what may happen to God or Jesus would become incarnate in the world through the suffering of black bodies that for Jesus to be unable to read God and Jesus must die they must be immortal they are true this one is saying God is the suffocation for life because God is the immortal God is empty and see this is immortality and fit to be the separation of black life that comes unconditionally must exist for themselves rather than as fixed emissions and hegemonic purview and the impact is divine racism and the vehicle through which the racist God cements violence and enslavement on the black life so long as we continue to rely on these anti-black uh, technologies and anti-black violence is settled. That's a family grade 15. <coughs> Gordon points out, black is the theodicity of a European modernity. Uh, the question of black life matter is the theodicity of mode of questioning about how black life comes to matter in way versus a suffering problem for fact about the cause of suffering and the question of a principle of how they matter is the divine will can never be. I'm sure that God is working on behalf of African Americans and the suppression of God is the suffering God's act. Oh, black people only matter because they got to God. Black people were abject black is about who lives and who dies, showing up requires existence. The uh, requires everything consumed and discarded. The same function is God even separate society and have a theodicity mode of rationalization black is fundamental to the formation of European modernity and imagine itself further through the expression of uh, blackness, black lives come matter. Negatively, within the conscious of people's life, always already guilty in the eyes of the state necessary to maintain the social order of lives against black bodies. The law and custom that I consider my ground state station and his actions resulting in the guilt of the deceased of the offense of God. Then, uh, we tell you, the deceased has upholds the power of the state's God over the life of the individual within the black world and black lives matter negatively to the state of state acting in the form of absolute divine sovereignty is divine racism. And the world within the state's God is white racism requires. And the one who sees the implication of class action suits and private interests will move towards a black woman, a black liberation who participates in the practice of iconography whereby black people are turned into icons and superheroes is not only if theoretical that he practices the advent of but also represents as an iconography act of poor trophy black accessories to move toward divine liberation of the FNS office to be known in 19. Ritual function maintain religious status of the explicit proclamation of belief in which we can interpret the appointment of anti-black status when the acts of resistance that challenge that I've led to, which is thinking like how can the world media that has to be well will manifest in the images, text, and do within a section of the symbols that imply ritual the affirmation, civil society, and negation of access to the iconic icon of that how is how I console into a past life state of celebration of optimism and feeling policy so we want to become our icons of self-hope free of the logic of death and deliberation. We must be wary of how much cultural law offers that a temporary repeat of feeling policy without truth from the ontological negation of this view and as an icon for fact and multiple cultures of the case of anti-black as a former member. Or that she cannot tell the difference between legitimate actions and to prefer to burn the rule of this happened through the commercialization beyond the current movement to an icon of these narrative raised by radical fashion ever to see everything in narrative of progress and separation of events of the world to an equal practice in the celebration of the recognized black community that say yet this man for recognition of suffering exactly when he will relate to us to use the term icon of commercial opponents and political campaigns of press all narrative past by radical resistance and against the alternatives you kill a call to kill God or reject the transcendental promise of liberation via divine intervention and figure taking up the project of killing God and its white acolytes, its family, and great routine. God remains an unhelpful road to the RAM. Of humanity, of humanity's past, of African American human theology, positive God to the medicine of restraining the divine impediments in human collective creativity and freedom, and out of things will transcend a God of destruction from the world of A God is human life and existence be highly potatoes. God is a God of social political manifestation of restraining that whole death and mobility, creating freedom of black people, killing God from the bottom of the black community, imminent, and decent, and rejects the legitimacy of the guy's state is God by destroying the deconstructing theology of the state, rejecting the legitimacy of the state's icons of Americans made possible by a chief prince of labor justice and not able to indict it. It's a tweet of an AD, so leads to apprehension of the state for what it is, a racist God who made the native and Arab American conceptuals and writing the hospital through rather than negative. Black people, you know, the American is framed in the city and held made possible through I mean, the exploitation of people of color, African Americans, and America, Africana, a community for a wide mass rejected narratives, and a culture that reinforces, reproduces, and maintains the name of the AFS, and affirms no hostile necessity, but if he's out in order to affirm, I mean, a black life who to destroy these narratives, who see them for romantic yet untreated, instead of doing must destroy idols and icons becoming more critical of state change political process and charges we did, could we create the possibility of destroying the state? I got to continue to make our minds matter better negatively, and to ensure this is an exercise in few until these second offs topic out. Interpretation of the private sector is the same for the non-profit sector and public sector that's investigating. In 20, the private sector is part of the economy that is run by individuals and companies for a profit charities and other non-profit organizations part of the voluntary sector in violation of Wilson's all the advocates about removing the five sixty eight after from creating high quality public schools for profit and uh, profit and non-profit schools are distinct. That's that's the twenty one. What's the difference between private and public colleges? Man, the public college and university may probably place the government entire college and university ride. We're heavily on tuition that private colleges can either be for profit, non-profit, for profit colleges will run like businesses, but private institutions have to have more money available for grants. Caution to their large endowment funds. They destroy women. They like trust be applied to any quality public institution or nonprofit getting ground. And uh, as our arguments are premised on private action, that disproportionately spent dead research and destroys quality debate. And if we, if they wouldn't be mean, it's just a term of solvency that's been planned for the fruits they can't affect public institutions or community colleges, which is the least and worse, and especially anti black events because it removes the most easily accessible schools from marginalized a community that's keen all their uh, solvency case. The presumption that markets to be pro-racial is battle of inclusions that tend to access history and risk to reason black dislocated is absent. Really should not be your agency that's too awesome 13. 
The first racial period of Australian global citizenship from the Southern Iran Economic Participation by Spain's distance is not about race, but individual choice in the overall to cultural rationalization status. Uh, and this really appears for the rights of the beneficiaries and strict uh, and stigma to citizens for that set of values, beneficiary culture, culture, reasonable, law, bad, and good global citizens, deep value, this business, monocultural, a black, weak, and irrational, unfit for global citizenship, they reject opportunities to participate in the market, no matter how great that system may be, so these can be justified even without any argument that the economic spheres are due to the racial privilege to hold that various markets presumed to be a racially ethical, neo global, and normal, and neo liberal, multicultural, and brings inherent effort to move beyond that. A black, white, and the black sun should stand the current second threat to national progress, modern race, and nation, at least a, a second with the past would be more black or movie on black, and we're reading it from the dining way of the past requires resistance to be ethics and multiracial racials can be read as well. Color blindness target is not the, 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 the target is the kind of world of all blackness and insatiable a political demand and friends to an anomaly puts man's peace inside a multiracial and seeks to reju, uh, rescue racial identity from a blackness and legal focus for a pace and cycle of cruel optimism and empirical fears that solidify the seats that were worthy that frames the 21. A part of the impact that outside of uh, outside of worldwide people because it's crystallized settled colonies here. I just say focus on the global race is not where cosmic school segregation persists, but please kill back people illegally. Mass incarceration persists for years. Or, uh, secured on paper, but I've been uh, resistant roll back with inequality between black and white people's wound and inequality life expectancy still exists. These are not anomalies, they are particularly a part of the system reforms. They divide poor the nation, hacking and divides remain the life out of the nation that they put in the state being stripped through the course of power uses of resource. Inequality is a grant one day, the power to grant or not. But once we're we will address this potential about building power in communities such as a focus of continuous distraction and energy when the courts are supposed to building structures of in the community. And the essential facilities doctrine the plans to the ultimate the Drew framing, their wealth and evidence sites, essential facilities and improving access to the workforce, not the worst education from it, which thinks that advanced policy improved. Of the link in promoting the democratization of the university exists as a building block of anti violence, which further societal fascism and authoritarian control that turns case that's mentioned in Anderson in 18. The democracy is something to lose never achieve from any of us. We are told we must uh, result in two reason I walk in some of the ages of the foundation of the US that that patient cooperation the only seven ways to address any inequity is that we imposed upon the black people in black people in the market and so that we continue to do that slavery to bind the to the liberal social contract values of maintenance white supremacy capital interest in the environment anti digital and intellect solution and that is the quality of liberals in place of children that you got charity along in terms of the lending self fast physician law they did that when self authoritarianism government inequity and inequality the law for its liberties would be taken away by Americans that are not truly since the United States law the United States remains the box is constantly under surveillance, black guy, employee, racial, and accept the threat of white supremacy because the free back of has a complete transformation of the state and the very British of carbon, uh, critical public education achieves nothing as Tarwal 14. Well, the hope is that critical pedagogy will build a more equal society, so our scale to connect radical practices and concrete change uh, drew from uh, fields from go from a language of assistance to a concrete analysis of ways to alternate education practices for larger movements, and this is offensive as Thacker 17. The other theory Drew says of remains so vague is an empire confusion of the danger of the world often in the two million liberals and the kind of the has been used and abused to the point being says being liberals is not the only slippery as they fire nowhere can redefine the relation between uh, these concepts to use that training and change so that said Drew's attempt to connect maybe not be so so much in the intellectual and never as an emotional one. The goal seemed to, 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 to be different from the and all the Guys in the fourth group to find opposition overwhelming evil in terms of only sway these surprise or reassures we are in danger. And on the right side, Drew's proposed uh, solution is never defined. We take we also wonder whether these practices would require the destruction of existing institutions. Uh, Drew should do a critical pedagogy concept that is not as for the reader finds a pedagogy that seems quite uncritical. This pedagogy means a particular set of values. If a critical pedagogy means that students are entrusted to identify with the oppressed and hate oppressors and educate themselves in particular form of moral and political activity, identifies good and structures that replicate at the most fundamental level. But mark that last piece of evidence at the most fundamental level. If everyone can hear me okay, y'all can just stand me here. Cool. Good? Go across. Yeah, I'm good to go. Um, starting on the K, status of the all. Um, unconditional? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uncondo. Um, the Finley and Gray evidence makes connections between the state and God with the killing of God also like being a killing of the state. Yeah, the last piece of Finley and Gray evidence explicitly says that um, the like imminent atheist affirms the possible necessity of burning things down, destroying idols and icons, becoming more critical of state sanctioned political processes, and creating the possibility of destroying the state gods that continue to make our lives matter negatively. Let idols get destroyed. Uh, we argue that the 1AC creates the idol of public education or prior or higher education as one that is necessarily like uh, saving people through giving them education, giving them literacy. These are all lines for your most evidence. Burns down an education. No, it kills the, the iconography or iconograph, whatever. It kills the icons of the upgrades via like white professors, black student particip market participation. Uh, those narratives that you have endorsed. I also think it's worth recognizing that the part. Uh, another piece of the Finley and Gray evidence indicates that uh, killing the white god does not necessarily kill all god, but rather kills gods that are not endemic and are not useful or not, I guess, useful. Yeah, but you made a connection from community. the white god to the state, and so my question is, if you kill the white god, which is which is connected to the state, and you say that you separate education from those things, then like, 
if your argument isn't that you burn down education, but only the idea of education, then like, well, what do you do with the education? It's not even burning substance. down the idea of education. It's burning down the idea that education is liberation. The narrative is the one you see as Yeah, so, that so you get rid of the narrative, what remains? What were, oh, what remains after? Yeah, it, it, the alternative would embrace other moods of like political beings, other moods of agency that is now rely on like economic, like, like like we we say black people can have a life if you're not able to participate in the education or participate in the market. And also, you, you've, you've endorsed okay. you have endorsed literally a hypothetical ban that directly leads to those forms of participation as I, being a good life. I we say black link. life can exist without I, I, those things. I that understand your link argument. My question no, is, that is what hard. remains after the alt? What are those modes of political engagement? What are those modes of education? Yes, we've made the argument the that the forms of education that you're, you're homogenizing education is only yeah. occurring through higher education. We've argued that education comes from other sources. It's like not necessarily what? from like the school, but from communal which spirituality existence of black people have without the need for white institutions. Okay. All those things are good. Okay, your argument of the 180s invocation of a class action suit, that suit has already happened in the status quo. How is that a link to our app? Yeah, you've read evidence that says that it is that it failed to, to get rid of 568 or proof the status quo solves because the class action suit would have already solved, but we've made arguments both about how your invocation of those suits as a potential way to solve both weaves out black people, we've which said is that the that suit evidence. won't solve. That's why the app is necessary. So why, how does this relate to our app? We say that there is a suit right now that will not solve because of the exemption. So how, how is our app an invocation of a new class action lawsuit? Yeah, the argument is that you reform and change that class action suit. That no. will fail, is okay. the point. Uh, we'll start from... Sent. The order is uh, case, topicality, uh, then the critique. Schools and universities are constructed to facilitate exclusion and violence across racial lines. It creates zones of uh, structural zones of exclusion that allow other inequalities to take place. Current trends are unsustainable. Our democracy and constantly create widening uh, health and resource disparities. The impact is authoritarian rise in structural uh, violence and exclusion from vital resources. This impact always in turns their impact. One is magnitude. This spills over global authoritarianism and structural violence is the biggest impact. 
the rest of his uh, probability of current transfers of authoritarianism, long history of racial violence and education concerns are impact there to turn to the impact he all result in more violence between systems are uh, guaranteed a backlash against individual uh, strategies and authoritarianism. Uh, globally comes to genocide, it turns the alternative solvency, the structure of the university is designed to co opt individual speech act against it because it sees individualizing methods as uh, less threatening than, uh, than uh, those that demand political change. It lets the university uh, claim the alternative and use it to be performatively progressive while maintaining the status quo of the speech act and political method of the 1AC is good. 1AC Wilson says that the uh, advocacy process of the 1AC goes beyond the thought experiment and constructs an analytical lens that uh, spills up to use in the legal system that puts uh, current barriers and institute that shield judicial scrutiny and open up methods of checking abuses of power and facially neutral legal system that exacerbate inequality, the role of the balance to vote for the better team, any other interpret arbitrary self serving debates that question the rest of the debate, the uh, role of the judges to follow the role of the ballot line behind proper 1AC. Uh, one, it's not uh, the, 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 the app is not a uh, model of market, uh, post uh, racial markets. It's, and it, uh, it's an intervention of essential facilities, which is distinct from markets because it explicitly shifts to a public model. One, it's uh, two, it's not a cruel optimism of anything that uh, permit is a result of any, uh, any uh, risk and uh, legal analysis is good. That'll be on the K page. One, it's uh, three, Juro isn't, uh, isn't a double turn. It's about uh, access and the ways education has been segregated. There's no offense to uh, structurally ex uh, excluding certain people from uh, historically white institutions. One, it's, uh, four, it's not, an, uh, it's not just an instance of uh, democratization. You should err uh, on inclusion. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it's just uh, possible for people to access this. There's uh, segregation uh, results in zones of exclusion that are uh, uniquely bad. One, it's the, uh, five, it's not, it's, not, uh, just, uh, it's not just a vision of uh, publicity. The Wilson evidence says that it uniquely spills up to uh, different forms of critical analysis. The, uh, when, uh, 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 the last one is the argument of stagnation. So uh, it's not, they, uh, we don't promote, uh, they uh, just promote stagnation and uh, doing nothing in the, face of, uh, in, the, in the face of oppression. This is not often for them. Now, uh, topicality, first we need plant action in the bathroom, says private institutions. We obviously affect private institutions. If anything, it is just a solvency question, not a topicality one. You shouldn't conflate the two counter interpretation. Uh, private sector includes any non-profit and, and non-public institutions. Yeah. Uh, JCS 19, the private sector is an overall term that doesn't apply to any or all and on public uh, businesses. We need we affect private uh, schools and universities, topic education as a reason to prefer versus topic education. They arbitrarily exclude any private institution because they exist in the same place as uh, public institutions. Second is applicants, the topic is how and they bias because of things like sketchy causes counterfeit. You should uh, give the absolute leeway reasonability. We're obviously topical. There's no in round abuse and uh, gives competing interpretation plus substance crowd out. I'm uh, going to do the solvency deficit stuff here, targeting private institutions, uh, destroy racially neutral, the facade of school choices, spills up to every other institution and ensures uh, the plant solves pierce. Uh, 21 public schools are natural, low, low performing uh, practices often refer to uh, school choices as a historically racist foundation while they money from underfunded under, under research public schools and the private schools of uh, racism and school segregation. The public schools facilitate great advances, universal public education. <laughs> became increasingly prevalent white students began transferring to private schools to avoid integration to which not sure our uh, grant programs that closed on public school systems. They remain all over for supporting segregated schools and the worst of the bacteria segregation that uh, circles raises to promote a de facto segregation threatening uh, historical causes. Now, uh, to critique our interpretation of the debate should be about the consequences of the 1AC framework through the scholarship of the app and the ultimate massive of the 1AC and just continued exploitation due to the insufficient framework uh, through which they analyze corporatization of education and failed to uh, confront the ways in which zones of exclusion fundamentally change the dynamics by through debate that's your own and they found no, uh, no link. They said that their the thesis that black life can exist without the need for white institutions. This is not the thesis of the app. We, can, uh, we don't force anyone to go to particular institutions, as the institutions uh, cannot structurally exclude anyone, even if they win that it's bad for individuals to participate in these institutions. It's worse for those institutions to be able to uh, gate themselves off to only certain people, prone to both, prone to the alternative, prone. Uh, the USMG should do the app, and individuals should do the alternative in. Uh, they're on solid any residual risk of link. When I see Tatum and Wilson say that the adoption of different uh, forms of dialogue are key to expand critical analyses of power structures, the presence of uh, problems put out and post-app are not a reason to vote. Now it's just a reason why uh, future progress can still exist and benefits to the current versus linguistic framing the uh, lunch of essential facilities within an antitrust creates the most effective framework for analyzing power sources in education. Uh, specifically, when I see Wilson says is the only way to accurately uh, understand dissemination of uh, education as a public good in ways that's been uh, corporatized in the status quo. And he also ensures that Kate Pills is mantled the way in which market rationality is captured the university. Second is false meritocracy. When I see uh, George says that the university survived through false meritocratic notions of choice and exclusivity, creating, uh, treating intellectual labor as exclusive or reifies market values and enables expansion of neoliberal, uh, neoliberalism turns the canon should be able to solve with. And then he had the market document in the United States. By ignoring the distinction between commodities and non commodities, this market ideology would be central to extend all aspects of life, transformation of labor, and the commodities relating to the market. The uh, commodification of intellectual labor would throw in uh, market assumptions and extend to ideas and intellectual property versus the use of ideas, scholarly conception, and knowledge regarded as non exclusive, uh, used by one person and not properly they used by another. Uh, it is commodified rather than uh, exclusive. Now, uh, abandoning structural reforms in the name of anti blackness ensures strategic remains devoid of practice unless the university insulates itself and recruits violence. Brown Court, uh, 21 anti blackness strategy is welcome in schools because it's devoid of practice and celebrates like a policy. The only thing to do is to memory it. 
I don't for material conditions, I reduce all area of passing as it comes to my ally instead of building against our state capital without off the hook that means of ideological construction reinforced that raises the no need to do anything so every, and critique after pessimism is welcome on the neoliberal university and corporatizing the public school system and school has the same politics as imperialism and resists the power structures of the big uh, pull the level of people off the hook for doing any uh, real work that key ingredients for uh, unity, political uh, clarity, and strategic proficiency, uh, proficiency hard work without any uh, guarantees of success in the anti political actions that can shows the university tactically co opts as a mean to excuse uh, political accountability and tends to chaos. Uh, 20. By uh, confining black resistance in this space outside of civil society, APA opened up the uh, corporate capture of uh, black and large corporations in terms of itself as progress as well. That's not only the pledge of non white work that is not a large corporation that co-ops anti-black and the neoliberal university that promotes a theoretical terms or requires no political action if you promote uh, survival and flourishing within the university of higher education if you rely on privilege and position within the university to provide market value to the neoliberal institution that is happy out to claim that uh, they are motivated by, motivated by the desire to bring writings out of the academy or work against uh, liberation in the American uh, educational system is the focal point in which social life and death are stamped. The athletes be to resolve the structures that uh, actively preserve anti-black conspiracies. Uh, something in the U.S. educational system has control, has produced political and ontological conditions of social death that states that uh, very definition of freedom and equality and justice based on the social uh, death of black bodies are conditions of social death perpetuated through disparity and educational resources which create the gated communities for children of color grown ontological values being sent for free market rationalizations. Uh, social life is a special whiteness and social death of blackness in material ways. Now, uh, the alternative forces of corporatism, this have political engagement and antitrust, key to random corporate power, anything else creates uh, runaway capitalism and allows abuse of antitrust laws. Uh, because on 19 and 19 antitrust laws, Congress came to the election of capital and particularly the farmers uh, understood the corporate power broadly and the antitrust laws control the corporate consolidation for much of the mid 28th century antitrust uh, law serves as a powerful check to other periods in antitrust law field that uh, uh, Sheffern Lawrence said used the corporate like and antitrust laws play an important role in addressing uh, cyber inequality these laws can should be reinterpreted under uh, corporate domination so long as cars uh, follow the antitrust status quo they will enable the supremacy of concentrated ca- uh, capital and support uh, workers that form political action to redistribute uh, power and only political action rooted in legal analysis are necessary and sufficient to solve other forms of structural balances and pattern sequencing because we have to keep it in its subordinate to the uh, two associated democracy rather than operating self expression uh, therapeutic strategies that only lead to withdrawal of justice and recovery. I uh, think the problem is two cold purchases would uh, agree on the ground that basis in which micro political uh, intervention can provide an anticipated uh, collective mobilization so I think they work and we expect that they will produce democratic effect instead of leading to Senate goal withdrawal such as no one uh, with political ethics oriented towards the world because it leads to a privileging of action by uh, the self as a starting point and preclude macro political change disorder of priorities as something a conception of uh, political ethi- uh, ethics oriented towards the care of the world and possibly uh, embrace anything beyond the problematic therapeutic models we need to be by making uh, ethical reflections subordinate to the needs of the uh, associate of democracy cut the card uh, at uh, democracy and their explanation is reductions to the theory can't scale up and ignores other factors. So, uh, you can the economic history of historical uh, the variables are only racism or versus in favor of generalizing secular analytic formula. Not only does that uh, formula generalize across different sides of racism and is bottled together with prejudice of racism, uh, comes out uh, to reduce uh, a little bit of the depoliticization inherent as surprising it. Uh, explaining racism and ignores that association of that comes to generate reactions that other next explanations are uh, from the reductions and they appear to privilege secular analytic assumptions prior to the uh, consideration of context. This explanation is overlying on the psycho, uh, psychological and not to the retreat of the political. Uh, given to one of them, but uh, so, uh, context by an explanation of racism is that variation effect of this. That uh, seems also to the psychoanalysis, which can be uh, science and deploying psychoanalysis reproduces colonialism regardless of the all across. Uh, uh, 17 psychoanalysis uh, is on the by the assumption of unconsciously reproduced colonial imagination in the pursuit of the civilized world. This matches the pronouncing issue is the ways in which savagery is reproducing the oppressive violence with the uh, patterning together colonialism. Uh, there are uh, ways of the psychoanalysis, something disturbing, uh, disturbing uh, reproduces uh, the same primitivity it carries forth the races. Uh, kind of the colonial psychoanalysis carries over this binary to move into the post-colonial era and uh, consciously reproduces them even when used uh, in decolonizing the card. Uh, decolonizing and affirming interruption or revolu- revolutionary politics is a dead end for uh, radical politics investing in our political uh, energy actively trade off the more effective efforts towards a better world uh, by confronting radical activists with the fantasy of once and for all uh, revolution to bar. Uh, 16 uh, will likely work to secure a better world of problems and sacrifice which they will never reap the side of an armed opposition the world is uh, changed a few rallies many people of the Bolsheviks are still in the world of death between drugs and uh, cluster runs a number of regions of capital of luxury and uh, revolutionary and this is just 1950 to Cuba. Cool. Are you good for class? Yeah. Awesome. Um, let's start on this piece of evidence you read on T. Mm-hmm. Uh, you it says that I guess public schools and private schools are kind of distinct things, and that targeting private schools is necessary given their reform. This is about the uh, the I guess development of private schools in second in primary and secondary education, aka you know, like high schools and, and elementary schools. Yeah. I guess what is the connection between those schools and and uh, higher education and how does the, the plan solve those things? I think you're conflating the two things that the plan does. The plan does affect like higher education 
by removing the 568 exemption, it also affects institute like lower institutions uh, by like subjecting private schools to the essential facilities doctrine. Yeah, how does it, so, so private schools in the plan includes high schools yes. and elementary schools. Yes. How does the federal government leverage those things if they do not fund or control those at all? Wait. Like, like basic leverage federalism 101, that's just... the states are the one in local communities and individuals are the ones who guide public institutions. They have no federal scope for curriculum for anything. How does the federal government have the jurisdiction to do the plan and where does your solvency evidence indicate that it spills down? So just, yeah, it, it has jurisdiction under like the ability of antitrust laws to target like private antitrust entities. laws don't, yeah, private entities. Just not the point. There, there are two answers to this. One is you have to meet federal law to get federal funding for schools. They don't get federal funding, they're private it's, schools. No, but the, our argument is that when you apply the essential facilities doctrine to them, they become public utilities and therefore have to meet those burdens in order to get those types of things. The second argument is that the antitrust doctrines still apply right. even if, i.e. when states sue, they still sue under Sherman and when private companies sue, they still sue under Sherman even if right. it is those types of things. That's what That's our evidence is descriptive of. Yeah. Uh, psychoanalysis, what are these relevancies to cards? Like relevancy to anything that they bring. Yeah, we say that descriptions of things like anti blackness as unchanging aspects of society are wrong and reductionist. What? Like, wait, wait, I'm sorry. No. What What one NC card do you think says there's a little bit of an economy, that there's a racial bias that black people or white people have that structurally locks? Uh, yeah. That is what the hook and frost cards are saying. What if, part of the one NC says that? If you like want to not make any sort of like ontological or libidinal economy, those are just claims. What about local economy is reliant on one NC's group? Yeah, if you want to say that there's not a little bit more economy, we are totally fine with that. Cool. Like, um, let's talk about the corporatism DA. Mm -hmm. It says that you know Congress uses antitrust laws to get rid of capital. Where's like the capital invested in, in private education, and how does the the, the like plan text actually access this as a form of offense? Yeah, know? so I think the uh, Wilson evidence from the 1AC is pretty good on how uh, the plan sort of linguistically reframes antitrust law to analyze the like abuses of corporate power rather than like how the status quo functions with um, certain.
Okay, that was fine. Zero, of course, the ancient thesis of God is white racist, means to negative foundation of the white political question based on the Christian unification of American sovereignty, operates heavily space for political activism and practices, the understanding of Lugo Thomas' salvation, liberty, the holiness and acceptance of us all, the white racist God for his will and bringing out the destruction of life and salvation, it's all possible, God's not coming to the literary meaning, the white seems to be on his sixties, the ancient slides, the ancient thesis, and the black literature not only never come in written in real life, upon a neutral positionality, will never come to bring the literature back to this dude, the afterlife, the slavery, white, I have to place the areas of hope and divine intervention on black lives. In order to make it also the reinstitution of slavery, fiat is that new towards us, the least ever. And the most nervous topic of change in the class will save us. And the former self remains due to some participation in the same process of white guilt, whereby my life lets confess their sins of life to And they promise to change only never see this. And change this church case, even if they wins. And they finish recording the trust on a higher change to reform in a vacuum or good. They can never, they rely on theology and mission white guilt. God it makes it even harder to fight these oppressive structures. The first argument framing the role of the church in the white state. In the foreign sins, this is Taylor's question. The one sees the lines of the American dream. The liberation now through type of the the neck name. The way the lines is such an iconographic figure to saints. And you have to like slavery, just like the thing you should take. Not the production of killing white races, God names of disciples. And then this vacuum that this outward is for first. And the spiritual focus comes first. And value the plans only. And the fifth hypo neck and turns us into objects. And then to bring uh, to bring out the most maximally efficient motive. And then to make rather than subjects to produce spiritual engagement and spirituality. And this is the private question, the question that enforces how we interact with the broadly secondly differences of life. Not like man, people should bring a pro take up the project and the killing man during this hard name sentencing. Our man needs to be safe for passions in the Marxist and the Indian political of every street from Indian political around every moment. And the motion runs, I'm not talking to the sound from the sound of the rest of the solidarity with Lexus. And if someone is in the indicated day down, she wants to join the common struggle, but in the struggle of white to white communities and countries, the only thing you can do in this world, and then they can be in the Asian community, all the communist people, and the person of the white area, the white and all Isaiah, and the place you have to listen to the person of the black is white is, and this is absence of the violence of the white people, and the big role to play the revolution of violence of the black, and the most white communities in the middle of the world, and the most has played, and the bloody teams of the past, and the winds of the reservation, and the proposition with each other, the blacks is the nice and coming, and the blacks money humans to the person of the other streets over there, and this is going to the parts of the entire lines for me, and the train is the first day, and the day is the 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 day, and the day is the
Facebook and higher than the Jewish non neutral segregation program and they're all part of the current capital social media praise. Non black members of state white domination. This is proven in the Wilson and Berkeley's high black representation education to you. The maintenance of the continents will say in front of Predominantly white institutions are undermined, covered in the land of the subsidized population in New York, who are the private accounts of the Jewish opposition, love by the student of red accounts and the FBI, the ability to produce me, equally the social economic life, no, in that democracy, no, 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 the industries, they would tend higher, proposed schools, have very like higher income to reduce the day, and the reduce like low-income, the criminal justice is higher, the quality of education, again, the outcomes, and the violent, but an incredibly well-educated workforce research, no, but it's not a well-educated workforce, at least a stronger economy, which is the community, no, to try to produce me for critical to realize the economy, higher quality of the schools, or no more public interest, infraction, non-discriminate access to higher quality, the schools are therefore also because high the goals to generate the heart to which the lowest benefit in the society and American democracy. That's hurts the case of all of these. And even if they're able to reform that change system to do so, no facilities to maintain the economy and current race problems or that ultimately new two works to why race black life, no two the continuum. The next argument they'll say they'll go for the question of choice, but it's a false the choice because it's why I'm trying to say the economy or the gun down rather than an entire new institutional operating be the alternative which you understand this woman's life and it can't exist without the just use of the vocation of the economy and the market participation. Now, the permutation of one, reject them. The first of each is the one I see. They say, it's on from the starting point of the audience. They say, the white hair is Scott. And this liberal train back is the family and says, the black people, the second of the project killing white hair is Scott. Because otherwise, this is the project stop. Now, the other one is to remain for the second. And this confession is the decide the permutation of the move towards the policy of white stuff. Where by the one is to acknowledge this is the one that sees That would ignore all terms and means of solving them. And for the wrong, we're right, you'll reject this argument because it's a move towards innocence and all the alternative alone solves the project killing white hair is Scott. Solves the questions of the access to education by creating more. Moments of black politics practices to overcome a few larger promises of white divine image of the one to see it relies upon them and for a perm people with the non-mutual system of there is nothing to perm you because of alternatives to culture killing the, the killing the killing the app itself and the perm to the alternative doesn't make any sense obviously it's never not the one to see that entire way Sanders is devoted for the white community the permutation that you as a genius made to lead to the distance the arguments we set up all because of the producers just play around with life and life and never take the individual steps to over and actually overcome those narratives the next thing to the next to the next to the Liquid framing will be impact turned in the blow when I do this type of analysis to make the false false meritocracy argument thing. The win evidence is just wrong. And if we win the ontology, if we win the broader onslaught of the thesis that we're going for, then this argument goes away because there is no meritocracy that can exist. I'll do that work here. The American dream is dead. The reparation in the states of black death and the state sanction violence is to provide the right bill for claims on the race of God. That's time in the state of black women should never occur. Consider how you expect racism to continue to be ritual before I act like more by the current sacrifice of black bodies. Just say the political imaginary is the main thing in the evidence uh, in the current side of the circulation. Uh, which is likely a creation of the new and Christian social comics, new creation. And the base of my target is the hands, none of the states that new and it's not a neutral approach to policy, rather, a white race has to pass lines and I back life in the process, then breaking apart the entire piece is not only necessary, but a better way to solve one issue because otherwise the race God will continue to infiltrate the states like education, the truth is all these things, the brown evidence, the sorry. Uh, wrong yeah, this card is just a critique of critical race theory that just says we need to address capitalism first. That's an FYI, that that's the, the ass only challenge in their world is a few places not. And the breakdown of the world, that was proven in the This card is literally all solid TNT and the permutation. And this says white people should stand in the back and trust black people that brown in 4 to 21. Uh, black people are very willing to eat the black shark and they brought the black shark. Nor is the claim that the red and white people should be able to off the black lives and then matter protests and grab the microphone. That's proving that they're, they're in, in the in-ground performance. It's not good enough. That's proving the Tracy argument that they said that our education scholarship is good because you perform, but you've not done the necessary work. I know you rather should be, you should keep all to black people in this context. The, the old cop evidence is not anti your traditional politics, nor they it's changing how the political institutions are viewed and in the first place. The alternative is the political project of killing white versus God, killing moments and manifestations. And all the prices that they think are good. The rise of the market and education as a moment of freedom is what we are doing. It's the moment of the African system good in addition. And if it gets crushed, that's obviously, if the university would crush these all the moments of thought, that's probably also the only reason we should like just reform the university or whatever. Okay, Pierce. Or, mm, yeah, Pierce. The, the states are colossal and silly. The fight doesn't mean that she's an institution expert. And they stop with the time they have for private school peers. It's about campus self education, something they do not change, obviously. How so much impact you have kids? Our kids. And to our public school system, some of the worst institutions have the school system. And the six neighbors students deal with chronic out. And that's to see these kids. And they go, uh, the kids, those kids, the kids they go to Wayne State, community college, MSU, U of M. The app does literally nothing to help any of them because they have no school claim. There's no way they would change. And instead of rather than seeking white student body, then they either the long-term or see black students that can fit the mold of the, of the things they want. They're they don't solve this claim, they're not doing up each just expansion. Now the card says is that they're just in the concept of education, so that access to the car about evidence. And the screen is literally an ethical we're trying to reflection of arguments within our framing arguments. And when a single link to the app, obviously the truth, the ethics argument they're going for, the hook and flush evidence. This, this is the thought they should set. And the student like all, all black arguments are one of the reading aspects, recreate the buzz, always black arguments, because they assume all black 
Project Scott Tree Limit saying we are literally the opposite of the economy. We say, like, no, should take on the project. Then Kelly Mike Grace has got this turn to reduction of claims as well as the linguistic claims they make. And the best interpretation relies on the logic of reducing the latency to the question of proximity to Africa. Cool. There you go. You go to the house. Let me switch maps. Sorry. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, first, what does uh, like a spiritual enactment of the alternative look in the context of like people within education? Yeah. So we think so. Two things. One, we think one is relying on watching education to educate students. Exists within higher education, and that is the quality of life. Rather, moving towards moments of intercommunal activity, intercommunal modes of education, where black people understand how we can live for one another and create moments of life within the inter black hierarchies that we both isolate are real. So that is what our alternative looks like. Okay, uh, in the world of the alternative, like, do universities, as they like exist in the status quo, exist in the world of the alternative? Well, they also exist in the world of the app one. That's like the entire link to it. Yeah. But... Secondly, uh, we change the narrative that necessitates those things being a good moment of life. So obviously they don't exist in the same way because the current narrative of higher education relies on people saying that is how you live a life. That is how the American dream manifests itself. We change that entirely. Also change the education institutions because obviously students would have a different orientation towards college. Okay, uh, how does like the, the sort of description of like the killing of God reorient that narrative? Um, it kills the narrative of the white racist God and the narrative of the American dream that you create. Uh, it shifts our focus away from market participation, higher education as the moment of progress, the moment of change, towards independent activities, moments of spirituality between black people where we can live and educate for one another. Okay, uh, should universities be able to like reject students on the basis of things like race? They can still do that plus that. I'm asking in the context of just like the critique as a thesis well, we change the paradigm that allows them to do that in the first place. So we isolate the root cause debate, uh, or we solve the root cause debate, thus solving the implicit bias stuff that you're talking okay. about here. Okay, so how would like sort of the rhetorical enacting of the alternative actually like cause universities themselves to shift their behavior rather than just like how yeah. they perceive? Yeah, we that? think that is an example of, or we think that is an example of the narrative of the white racist god. I think there's one student body that must be like you know manifested or existed. Also, like this kind of like like proves our link argument that you point for black students to say once they get into the university, the university is somehow no longer is black. The racism they perpetuate is no longer there. That's kind of the entire point of our icon icons. Like, let's, let's, right. this line of questioning just like doesn't make sense. Okay, I don't think that was a claim the app made. Um, um, I think it was, but like, because your entire point is that once black students are in colleges, they're able to challenge institutional racism and the access to super okay. large scale claim about like authoritarianism and like blah blah blah. Like, okay, that's fine. If you go on a weekend, you're on the okay, for me. I'm cool with that, but like, you know. Okay, uh, the critique uh, does it make any like sort of ontological claims about how like blackness? We make a structural claim, we do not make a like libidinal or ontological claim. No, those are different things. We think okay. there is a structure that exists and permeates life. We do not think that structure is inevitable because life it would do spiritual things to overcome the structures, i.e. the alternative. Okay, uh, in the world of the alternative, could like in an institution like the government uh, do things that are beneficial? What? Like, could the alt do something? I don't know what this question is. It's not a floating pick, obviously, so that's what I'll say. Okay. Sending the one in arm. still uploading the attachment. So yeah, kind of it looks like we're kind of freezing up on the zoom. Oh our, our, our zoom just re so our I think the Wi Fi just went down. Um I'm assuming you said that you're still here. Maggie, your camera just off. Um, we've got a we've got the whole debate being recorded on a camera, so we've got local recordings and stuff. Um, yeah, whenever people are good to go, we will uh, get ready to go. Okay.
Yeah, we're Lincoln, are you good? Awesome. On top, Kelly, we will concede that we meet with Jada any chance of action generating any solvency for the affirmative of three point marks of the argument versus the scope of solvency. The scope of solvency is destroyed by the inclusion of private entities only at the community. The 20 ROO out of the 3,982 institutions are rather 1,625 public colleges, 1,660 private and nonprofit, and 697 for profit uh, schools that destroy their ability to actually access any form of essential facilities doctrine. Solvency of the Wilson evidence is about A, only a state supply the rule B, about only applying it to public schools, not about private schools. We read Yale, the 20C Wilson, in, in, in 21. Uh, emphasize the permanence of applying such a facility framework to public infrastructure, high quality public schools to meet the criteria of the state place with the place rules that uh, facilitate open access that proves those obviously the state central K 12 education funding largely uh, free from federal influence is why uh, Biden can't mix things like Florida's don't take a bill and the Fed can't use the uh, antitrust uh, antitrust law to condition lower education that's US Department of Education. No uh, day education is primarily seeing local in the, U the US states establish uh, schools and colleges and term enrollment graduates, ninety two percent of the funds will come from non federal sources, the federal contribution and elementary and secondary education about eighty percent the second of the uh, Second part of the plan also leads to anti-blackness. Their, their application to the only private institution ignores the anti-black practices done by public cartels that receive public support from the federal government. The we need argument proves that they don't care about the actual schools that are accessible to marginalized communities like community colleges or uh, state universities, which proves they can't access the advantage impact and should reduce the scope of the scope to near zero because the world sentence is only about public schools, which they don't affect as per the reading argument. Third is the spill of argument. There's no uh, spill of the evidence the really read is only about the development of private schools and lower education makes no spill for it in the actual text to uh, public institutions, especially because the 568 has nothing to do with public uh, lower schools as for their own answers and process, for rather uh, co cartels and higher education, which makes scope impossible to reduce solvency to zero. All that means it's easy to reduce the uh, scope of solvency. It means that the impact that weighs on uh, the peak that minimum you should be the out of skeptical of solving your impacts the best uh, for creating a better world case. The university uh, co opting speech acts apply, uh, actually, I'll do. I'll extend the inequality to Moss like the driver both of you created the plantation in the contemporary era where whiteness hides within the law and use tactics like trickle down economics to uh, justify the atrocities on black life. The modern world is never coherent so that the explanation of black life under the veil of the capitalist economy the pieces of the one is realized to be something than a more competitive and efficient mode of exploitation using a market mechanism to reduce inequality but ignores that exploitation is exactly what sustains black suffering in the first place because they are viewed as necessary causalities of dead labor. The one I see Wilson on the evidence, the second one on solvency, not the one that I read above, where it proves this where it says that the analogy of Market based language to do excite the problem of market based analogy refines the problem of public education being conceptualized as a private because the market based language is solely for the purpose of considering how we can do a better job of actually disseminating a public education. Their only, their only push back to this is a no way. Obviously, they do use market, med market metaphors, they have a justification of it, but that justification is that it makes it better for the law, which is they, but by assuming that the market provides a legal solution to X in the first place, that actually makes anti black exploitation easier by making black life docile. In addition, they consume that black people having more education just solves every instance of racial inequality, which obscures the ongoing instances of anti black. I find still disposed plan. Think about how slaves would be on as chattel on the plantation where animals were super exploited to the point where they literally died under the embracement of I mean, growth through education is more economical to be more slaves to death than the we resource and let them access to foreign humanity, especially given the Wilson rehiring that I uh, that Joshua and the two and see consider how the modern project of the prison industrial complex actually rounds up black folks in the ghetto into a prison so they can make chairs, resources, and clothing that we all love uh, so much, except for the growth paradigm through process of increased competition for those instances of super exploitation of black people by recreating facially equal market quality while denying those experiences is all further impacted out by the Ramsey evidence which creates an opportunity cost for the app versus the alternative investment in community building rather than based in the court who's worse black life agreement is one of the anti black is because it is maybe because Ramsey says that the forms of segregation that they uh, seek to solve still exist post spatial equality. This is why their Wilson evidence says that things like right based favor fail and that market met metaphors might uh, be better, but still we read to the same sort of faith in the court that uh, Ramsey says is unnecessarily bad for uh, black people to engage in and said they should uh, engage in community building uh, and focus on that because the investment and that actually create better life opportunities for black people than the uh, faith, uh, faith in the courtroom. Um, I'll, I'll do the uh, I'll do the I'll do the double turn argument here. The university co-opting speech acts argument in the overview of the two NC applies to them, not us. Is the thesis of our double turn argument crossed by the Wilson rehiring from the two NC, which is about how essential facilities necessary and necessary for producing workers, making black people literate, so they won't be so poor. Which is obviously a double turn with jurors of rhetoric. This is co opted other speech act by the university because they misread scholarship intentionally to try and make a, a coherent argument, but end up just disguising more investment in neoliberalism through the language of anti-neoliberalism, which should make you discount all the framing arguments. The lawyer are too aware about how they actually create. A 
cause to change or answer the adulterer was just an assertion that they saw just more ruthlessly because they disguised the neoliberal language of their solvency advocate and the plan through the anti neoliberal language through uh, the, the, the true evidence that's impacted out by the Somazi and Anderson evidence. They forced blackness into a positionality where the only ways to oppose harmful structures through a dialogue of white forms and engagements with both ignore that blackness was never a part of white civil society to begin with, and that this form of civic engagement and democracy seek to erase blackness altogether. Their goals of civic engagement and democ democratic deliberation are built upon the extermination of black life since democracy was never possible for black people. Atlanta, that slavery, every form of progress proves that the notion of becoming better arguers only applies to white people, and that giving black people more education will not just give, give them better life opportunities as, 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 as is concerned with uh, being in the workforce, which is the Wilson evidence says that essential facilities framework does, but rather will just make them part of the, will, will re entrench them into the, uh, white, into the white civil society. The next argument they make is um, the, uh, I'll do the Drew, the Drew arguments here. They, uh, uh, the, the, the piece of Drew evidence they read in the YC doesn't define what a neoliberal, a uh, 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 break from neoliberalism is, which should make you even more sensible of their ability to solve, because it's just a question of how uh, you devise and we read evidence. And those should be the one and see evidence on the uh, Drew argument. Make the argument that Drew has zero idea what he's talking about as far as uh, conceptualizing an actual threshold for what the framework means, which means you should be skeptical of their ability to just say, we solve neoliberalism, because he just has an emotional attachment to it rather than an actual uh, literal definition and a uh, uh, paradigm of uh, actually changing, which should make you, um, which should make you, make you view uh, Stanford's arguments a lot a more, uh, in a lot more negative fashion because it makes it, uh, it makes it difficult for them to say that they actually solve things that they can't define or explain how they actually do it uh, besides just anti-trusting private public or private institutions which don't affect anything anyway. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, I put it in the chat. Yeah, 9.31. Yeah, yeah. Kicked off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.
So there's there's no dog. Everybody good for this? It's going to be the case T and the case. The education system and it enables zones of exclusion to the expansion of de facto segregation that permeate uh, that perpetuates massive resources, disparities, spills over to wider forms of inequality that creates erosion of democracy, loss and intergenerational racial disparities, but have to endorse the lens of uh, the essential facilities as a method of analyzing corporatization of education that's key to put the status quo construction of education as privatized breakdown barriers to judicial scrutiny and spill over the role of the ballot. This for the judgment over the team that did the better debating. It's the only non-arbitrary way to evaluate debates. It doesn't lead to debaters privileging their own uh, that isn't self-serving. The speech acting political method of the one AC is good. The one AC Wilson evidence that the advocacy process of the one AC goes beyond a thought experience and constructs an analytical lens that spills up to the uh, use in the legal system that flips current barriers that shield judicial scrutiny that opens methods of checking abuses of power and facially neutral legal system that exacerbate inequality. All of their indicts assume that our analytical framework does not modify a legal system of the status quo, which it does, which means some of their arguments have a fundamental link to our app, or rather a link to the status quo, which proves that even the permit the permit is best with the this is all their first argument is a description of trade-off and rhetoric is wrong one is one AC Wilson gets nothing for them. It says contingent instances and market-based language is good. They strip this card of all of its context because it says that education status is the public that makes market-based language a counter-hegemonic practice against corporatization, which links into our arguments on the case that is no trade-off with the community building evidence. And Wilson is hyper-specific to how we should use that language targeted to schools and universities. Means we can use the language of the K and every other, use the language of the K in every other instance and combine the language of the K with market analogies. Burns the perma, solves that zero one how it trades off with community building forms. A lens of the community building can analyze problems with, it can analyze pro uh, problems with the double term argument. They misunderstand our argument. It's not that we solve all of neoliberalism or racism, racism as a whole. Wilson and Lang team, we prove a contingent approach that with an analytical framework to analyze educational systems and how they reproduce and create effects of neoliberalism and co-optation or contingent approach with political demand means the university is less able to co-opt our arguments per our arguments on the K of why the university only prefers to co-opt our arguments without political approaches. We have it for our scholarship. We just don't make the overarching exaggerated claim that you think we have, even if they win some failures of democracy, the authoritarianism of offense is still viable because they can see that the 1AC wax and evidence proves Existential, uh, existential offense that was already done in the 2AC, the Jarreau argument, Jarreau evidence is not giving examples of neoliberalism is contextualized by literally every other piece of offense in the 1AC, Wilson and Lane explain how corporatization structures of education destroy value life within educational system, the plan forces a shift to the public model of education, which shifts the dominant linguistic narrative from education and corporate commodity to something that should be accessible to everyone, which is the 1AC framing that is uncontested, guarantees that we are a massive shift from the sense where the shatters the illusion of choice in school 
where they turned all of their ball sweets off into that to uh, the two AC peers evidence on topicality in the context of uh, in the context of education that T debate whoopsies you conceded our counter interpretation and that it's better for topical education means that your we mean deficit doesn't matter because we get offense to nonprofits, which was our GCS evidence that solves your first card about spilling out to solvency, no solvency. Take out one is the essential facilities doctrine solvency. I already did on case two is peer says targeting private institution destroys a racially neutral facade of school choice, which goes up to every other institution because they don't have that mindset to be able to use as a justification for their actions. Three is the one is the light and evidence is that modifying IV action alone would spill out to all of the public and private institutions. The will be highlighting says application of the doctrine to education would expand out to public and high schools, which is a solvency argument, not a takeout of solvency. The Department of Education card says literally nothing, makes no defensive arguments to spill up or down, and has absolutely nothing to do with the solvency of the out. Okay. Answering some arguments at the top of uh, at the top of the TNC, not really sure how the act and the speech act of the one AC don't meet their argument about white people being active in the deconstruction of the American dream. Uh, the one AC, uh, the Wilson evidence outlines education as a monopolized white community of resources using the term white hoarding. The app deconstructs that white community, uh, i.e., being active in destroying whiteness as a community in a specific instance of education. There is no turns case argument. The app is in the direction of K, which means that the negative state action and moving away from their evidence is descriptive of the status quo. The economy reality gives that does not give them a turns case argument because our internal links are insulated to educational impacts, which isn't linked to the upcoming argument that's really important framework. Our interpretation is that the debate should be about the consequences of the 1AC. Should it, that it shouldn't be done through the framing of the ask lordship. If we get the 1AC as per the 2NC that says that we should, then you weigh the entirety of our speech act and our plan offense against the K, which is best for uh, fair, uh, fairness and education across the line from, um, across the line from Tom Kelly. I already did the role of the judge and role of the ballot on the case, which means you can cross apply them here. The next argument is the permutation only going for USFG should do the plan and individuals should do the alternative. It's best that USFG cannot kill them, uh, can, cannot do the killing of the God asked for the 2 analysis, which means that a risk of a residual link to the USFG is in the status quo, not as to the plan, which means either the permutation is best because the alternative will inevitably overcome the link to the state, or the alternative fails inevitably, and its unconditional status means you vote affirmative on the, on the, on the failure of the alternative to be able to solve. There are two that benefit to our permutation. The permutation is the link, critical adoption of different methodologies, checks, flaw, back flaws, and either individual systems. That's a Tatum and Wilson. Evan second is, is a residual risk of a link or not a reason to vote negative. Wilson says we can recognize and work to solve wider issues in education while also recognizing the Ways in which schools structure themselves are bad. There are two offensive methods to the perm. One is the wisdom frame, and one is see Wilson says the essential. The facilities option is the best way to analyze the corporatization of education. Anything else fails to recognize the nuances in which monopolization subtly manipulates educational development. Second is uh, false bureaucracy. The Jerome and Witt say that the construction of the all as a commodity be exclusively chosen forecloses deliberative democracy and reinforces neoliberalism, which turns decay means the all gets co by the university can't solve the app. The concessions this that is wrong. The perm isn't a confession of sins of decay. It's a strategy that we have already posited in the one you see that test. The combination of the alternative denying perms is a bad moral debate. Otherwise, policy teams would always win a counterplay that just does the affirmative, which that, um, that would mean that testing competition of alternative options is necessarily key to finding the best kind of action or model of move, uh, putting analytical frameworks into uh, to make the link debate. The icon links makes no sense. Our argument is not that black people are safe from anti blackness once they're in college. Our argument is way more contextualized. Already did that work on link. Their class action link for the one team proves our arguments. The suit is already in the status quo, and we do not support the suit. We say it will fail, which is why the affirmative is necessary to That proves that the app is in the direction of the K, not otherwise. The co option is that Brown and Ford evidence says that the ways in which individual level political strategies are constructed is co op the university, especially in the context of anti blackness because the alternative is constructed in a way to embrace the lack of political action. Already did that work above the app. Let's uh, solve social death. It is only a post facto explanation of how social death is situated in society, but not how those incidents of social death reproduce themselves. This is why we read the libidinal economy deep as the peers have its by far the best question on social death and life being reproduced, which the app controls. I'm pretty sure we have like 730 left. Uh, does anyone? of the judges know how much prep we put in the chat because we got disconnected. 747. Thank you. Thanks, sir.
Also das ist die Um, sorry. Uh, Viris case two and lambda two. Oh, Lincoln not very well there. Cool. Uh, not yep. very very well here. Okay, cool. Black activists were black. People are forced into positions of faith and 
framed institutional change. Always oh, and ever since these occur, all races direct impact on the own scholarship because the ones using empty promises that never neglect to uh, to solve for existing holding. Creates the same party second is supposed to be all you extended. We would highlight the Will Simmons the main to black versus female higher education creates the same. The fourth race from populist and exploitation toward black. The black higher education students that can mold it into the economy. The Will Simmons usually uses the language of saving the economic order that leads to these issues and the that leads to these issues and the current male runner. The racist person touch your colleagues at a new level. The the framework argument that the role of trust is the vote of trust. The YC for instance is the title and question the YC for lives on the American dream. When the YC relies on them, the American dream goes to be the former scholar to the national living back on the planet. The issue of nightmares at the moment of a totem for the sense is not me to not the YC. The brother you should change the paradigm of power on this run to question their their starting point in the scholarship. Both of us largely agree to the question how you come to that conclusion in the hardy hour evidence. All of these different systems that the blood on black players must take on the process of killing white racist body killing. The American dream may have not done this because rather they have cho chosen to once get past line themselves into the state to prepare and the permutation rather is to reject this great moment of spirituality into base specifically that creates moments of incorrect activity overcomes the exhaustion arguments that will go for on the permutation that they that themselves have dropped them. But if we, even if we lose right, we opposite still win because all relates to the planet themselves. Uh, yeah, the final argument is the fairness education claims answered by the blood of spirituality largely outweighs the link argument of permutation one. Permutation makes no sense. Obviously, if the movement links the plan and the, and the, and the government still does the plan, it's still a bad idea. The but if but the, the silly act right out versus the moment of confession where they have said, oh, we have done something fucked up, but all of us together just have their moment of spirituality that still leads to the pacification of political wealth bodies for my wife who gets to play around with the government and create and expect to acknowledge that are the bad of black in the long run. One, it does not resolve the links between the the pedagogy and the constitution of spirituality and black people to live for one another. Rather, it says the government can play around it, even if the government themselves are the ones killing the black people. That doesn't matter, not matter. That leads to the distancing type arguments that we were going for because they get to play around the UDSG of their type of enactment and not do the labor necessary to create the alternative index. There is a risk of a link. You still have a reason to vote negative because obviously the one is a bad idea. Linguistic framework, the subject is a pattern below. You're reading psychoanalysis against our critique at that moment. Not linguistic framing failing so you do understand. And be a side note, the monopoly. Of light body in terms of black scholarship. You miss reading our scholarship proves that your linguists cannot spell trade moments that life for, for, for the no one's all life, the false photography stuff we win the four tears and turmoil on the case, bro. There's no no man with hearts that even saw cannot create a net better world. The final argument I have to answer is this caution argument that they go for. This is not offered to them, rather, it proves the alternative unique situation that we must adopt new paradigms for the university challenge. These extra structures and proves alternative solving by the broad one because if we can first start in the day, we can then take to the streets finally. We have three, 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 three,
Vote app to endorse a model of political engagement that says that individual political actions are uh, good and don't disrupt wider social movements. The uh, only offense that I have to cover on, uh, that I have to cover on cases is uh, Jerome and uh, market metaphor stuff. The Jerome is not giving any examples. Neoliberalism is contextualized by any other uh, piece of offense in the app. But Wilson and Leighton evidence says that uh, corporatization structures education as a whole in the app. Uh, uniquely, uh, the, the app uniquely dismantles that by uh, having specific interventions that uh, say that zones of exclusion within uh, within uh, within schools is uh, bad and should be. Uh, Denied on the basis of uh, the essential facilities doctrine, it destroys value to life within the educational system. The plan uh, forces a broad scale shift to a public model of education, which shifts the dominant, uh, the dominant linguistic narrative from education as a corporate commodity to something that should be accessible uh, to everyone, which turns all of their uh, sort of neoliberal framing because it explicitly shifts away from a private to a public model of education in its entirety, which means that uh, things like private schools and, uh, how, uh, and how corporations are uh, structuring uh, the universities and uh, the private model can no longer exist, which means there's only a risk that the offense of uh, Neoliberalism goes one way in uh, the context of uh, the app. They've also functionally uh, conceded an argument that I'm going to get to more on the K, which is that uh, we control the meta level uh, uniqueness of how uh, of how racial capitalism uh, functions in the status quo and how it is distinct uh, from and how it's distinct uh, from the app. I don't really have to do any. Uh, I don't really have to do any more work here. Topicality first. Uh, the first they can, uh, they functionally conceded most of the uh, spill up arguments. They just said that we can't. Uh, the, uh, they just said that we can't uh, function in like uh, private institutions, which we don't have any. Uh, uh, which we don't have any more for this argument was over when the one on our conceded our counterinterpretation on the topicality debate. JCS says that uh, anything uh, that is not public is private, which includes uh, things like nonprofits. Their uh, moody evidence goes out. Uh, private and nonprofits are uh, three uh, three thousand two hundred eighty-five or uh, three thousand nine hundred eighty-two, which uh, which is uh, for eighty-two percent of the institutions. They uh, have also uh, they've also conceded the broader spill of claims of uh, the Pierce seven uh, the Pierce evidence and the Lee evidence, which says that even if it only affects uh, private institutions per uh, the actual definition of the law, it would spill over to every other. Institution, which means that uh, we still solve 100, uh, which means we still solve 100 percent of uh, schools, which is an argument that just has not been grappled with by uh, the has not been grappled with by the two NR, and you can't uh, vote. On, uh, and another critique, you can't uh, vote on presumption at the top because they have uh, they have said uh, that the alternative is unconditional, which means that if we are winning a solvency defi uh, deficit to the alternative or a reason as to why the app is preferable, you uh, vote uh, uh, you vote ah, first on uh, on the framework debate. Uh, our interpretation is that debate should be about the consequences of the one you see framed through the app scholarship versus fairness. Any other interpretation Nine minutes of the one you see it restarts the debate makes it uh, impo uh, impossible we have to structurally outweigh it because it makes any sort of uh, any sort of engagement within the run impossible and precludes all of their offense. Second is uh, corporate analysis. One I see Wilson says the language of the uh, uh, app uniquely analyzes ways in which corporate power collects uh, within the university and structures the way in which uh, even activities like debate take, play uh, take place. The lead on evidence says that uh, uh, uni universities can uh, use the status quo to, de to do things like uh, deny student uh, deny students debate scholarships, which means that it, it structures the way that we see arguments within rounds offense. Uh, to, uh, they just have offense to including the K. If we win that our scholarship is good, then we definitely uh, meet their interest. The role of the judges to uh, vote for the, uh, the vote for the better king, which uh, is to follow the role of the ballot. The uh, top of the K substantively, uh, substantively, there are a couple of framing issues at the top of the K. First, we're in agreement that anti-blackness in society is a structural and not an ontological claim, which means that they have no offense to contingent and targeted actions by the state to target uh, bad practices, especially if we're uh, winning the permutation, which is that individual actions can still take place in a world in which there are uh, structural interventions by the state. Second, they have severely undercovered the Pierce evidence from the 2AC, at the, uh, which the bottom of the 1AR extends, and, uh, says that structures of anti-blackness are perpetuated through things like gated communities of privilege reproduced by structures like private schools and Ivy Leagues, which means that we're controlling the meta-level internal link of how society reproduces uh, social death and how those structures uh, take place within, within society, which also takes out any of their uh, market linguistic offense because uh, the status quo uh, the neoliberal uh, racial capitalism is not the same as what would happen uh, post the app because we take out the ability of society to uh, structure 
literally reproduce social death, which is uh, the reason why racial capitalism is the way it is in the status quo. The status quo pursuit of education, uh, the status quo proves that pursuit of education broadly is inevitable. It's just a question of how those educational systems are uh, structured. They have zero offense on the exclusion from education being uniquely good in the status quo. It's just a reason as to why, just reasons as to why contingent non-participation of education is good for, for doing things like resisting the American dream, which the app does not stop in any way if their thesis level claims are correct. Disenfranchised individuals can just have access to places like Ivy Leagues and not go to them anyway, which proves uh, that the perm is the best. But the permutation, uh, the permutation proper extend the perm. The function of the perm is consistent throughout the, the, the two AC. The USFG should do the claim, and individuals should uh, engage in the alternative. The perm is possible. The K is anti-state and says that idolatry of the state can only reinforce uh, the state as God. That means that state employees and actors couldn't do, uh, couldn't engage in the uh, in the alt. That's not a germane opportunity cost of the state doing the app and individuals doing the alternative. The two and R says the links of the plan prove it's a bad idea. Unconditionality and unconditional all flips that analysis because they don't have to win uh, the app is bad. They have to win that the alt is better, which means they have to win uh, competition first. The uh, uh, most damning, uh, most damning is the top of the one AR. White people should uh, be active in destroying white communities. Wilson outlines education is a monopolization of white communities of resources. In the uh, term white hoarding, the app deconstructs the white community, being uh, i.e. being active in uh, destroying whiteness as a community of a, 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 and a specific instance of uh, education. The white people playing with the government argument makes zero sense in a world in which they said the perm is capable of burning down the state uh, from God. One and two cross acts locks our argument and the all can't overcome a change as small as they claim the app on solvency, then it cuts back against uh, the alt solvency because every other instance of a USFG action would be uh, in a, in alt, uh, uh, take out to solvency. There are two net benefits versus linguistic framing. One AC Wilson says that the essential facilities doctrine is the best way to analyze the corporatization of education. Their argument that we over essentialize our literature is not true. We were locking down a claim of uh, anti blackness being structural, not ontological, which is the offense done above second is false meritocracy. The Jerome went evidence of the contribution of the alternative as a commodity to be exclusively uh, chosen, forecloses deliberative democracy, and reinforces neoliberalism, which turns the can means that uh, they link harder to all of their market uh, metaphors. That means there's only a risk of offense to the perm, not the case.